up? It's Allie here and welcome back to Fab Little Dish. Welcome if this is your first time joining us. Fab Little Dish is your cozy little nook for all things home decor inspiration, decorating ideas, holiday decor, vintage home decor hauls, all kinds of different decorating shopping hauls, and just really cozy fun styling. So if any of that interests you, you definitely landed in the right cozy spot. And I'm so excited that you found us. <laughs> and today I'm really excited because we're doing almost a continuation of our journey from last week where we had a Victorian fall decorating idea adventure and I took you to the Cohen Bray house and it was so fun just being inspired and getting a lot of ideas there. If you haven't seen that one, make sure to check it out. I've made sure to link it below. So I was actually inspired to do a little more fall decorating throughout my home and I figured I'd just take you kind of along the journey with me because there were some things that I didn't include in the fall decorating ideas from last week. So we're going to be going over quick and easy things that you can start doing today in order to start easing yourself out of summer decor and into the warm, cozy loveliness of fall and autumn decor. We're going to be doing some of the things that I picked up from last week, just different tips and tricks, and I'm also going to be doing some new things things today. So it's just going to be a quick little fun ride, a little cozy one if you will. And let's just go ahead and jump right into it. But before I do, please make sure to hit subscribe if you already haven't. I'm trying to get this channel to grow like a giant pumpkin this fall season. So help a girl out. Please hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And thank you so much to all of my amazing subscribers. You are what keeps the dream alive. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these quick and easy tips that you can start doing today to start easing into fall decorating. Our first tip is elegant dried florals. So you can do this in a number of ways. I really like these little mixes that you can get and I got this mix on Amazon I've linked it below but it's really got the perfect fall vibes pompous grass little um, cotton tail things if anyone knows what these are called please let me know in the comments below they're so cute I love these little fluffies it's just very cute and cozy so that is a perfect thing to do is just kind of get those little dried, elegant, natural bunches that you can get. And you can even get them at farmer's market. And I also like the pompous grass garland. I keep this up pretty much all year round, but it really has a time to shine during fall and any kind of dried florals. So make sure if you get a bouquet, cut the ends, hang them upside down, and try to get as many natural dried florals as you can because that is, I feel, the best way to produce this cozy effect from the elegant dried florals. Sometimes they can look too fake if you buy them, so just going natural is the best way to go for the florals, I feel. But for these kind of things, I don't know if this is real or not, but it looks it, so <laughs> the pompous grass is a little harder to tell. So that's the first tip, elegant dried florals. Dried florals and greenery and pompous grass and anything like that really just adds a vintage, rustic charm and a sense of warm and coziness. So it is a must for your fall decor. Next are natural wood elements. So this is a really good one and I brought some examples to share that are from the Fat Little Dish Shop. So these are vintage pieces that I thrifted, got from estate sales, all kinds of different stuff, which is a great place to look for fall decor. I love this. <laughs> it is just really fun in here and I think that would actually be a lot more on point. So for example, we have here and look how cute. I love that. So very cozy. This is good for a, a, a cottage vibe, a fall cottage or a fall witchy cottage, which I'm going to be turning my bedroom into. Um, and I just love things like this. So anything that's natural wood elements, this even has a cute Victorian little gas lamp hand painted on. So it's really just got that, just, it just has charm. 
candelabras, so I love candle holders. They're a must for fall, but specifically I like the wood ones. And this is a really cool one also on the shop. Um, and it already had come with this cool greenery kind of strung around it, but this is a perfect example of just decor accents you can get that are natural wood. And this, I like this one because it has the black and the brown, and I have some matching candelabras in the living room too that go with us. So really pretty. And here is another one. I love this one because it incorporates our next tip as well. Copper is on there. So this is such a cute little, I just love the detailing. It's just got a cool spiral design kind of going throughout it. Natural wood, just that cute little touch of copper on the top. This is such a cute little fall piece and adds that warm charm that I'm talking about that really is evoked from the dark wood accents or just natural wood accents in general. You can kind of go with whatever color floats your boat or whatever goes with the rest of your decor. I kind of go with an eclectic mix, but that's just my cottage style. What's your cottage style? What kind of wood, natural woods do you all like to decorate with? Do you mix them up too? I've actually always wondered that. So let me know in the comments. <laughs> And the next tip is copper, anything copper. <laughs> and I'm not just talking teapots and tea kettles, although that is a fab place to start. Anything that you find that you can hang on the wall that's copper, or a little cauldron, or frames, I just love the copper look. And I'm keeping it separate from my next tip on purpose just because it's all, they're both metals, <laughs> but copper needs to kind of be in its own category because of the look and the warmness it gives, especially to the ball decor vibes. So it's an instant way to add any kind of fall colors to your decor is just by using copper pieces alone. So that is a biggie and then my next tip, which leads from that one, is any gilded gold accents. If you've seen my other videos, you know I love, love my gold accents. And I have it in furniture. I have it in big, large gold mirrors. I have also frames all throughout that really kind of have that patina gold look and any kind of things to hang on the wall or little accents that are gold. They really complement a lot of these other tips really well, like the dried florals, the, the darker colors on your bedspreads. It lends to the rest of the vibe of the fall coziness. So I would say definitely having that sparkle from the gold as well as the warmness from the copper. That's really good. And you can mix and match them. You can keep them separate. I kind of keep them separate. I like my copper in the kitchen. <laughs> I, I just grew up with copper in my kitchen on the walls, just like golden girls in their kitchen. That is very much how my grandma's kitchen looked. And I am a sucker for copper kitchen anything. So don't be surprised if you see copper in my kitchen when we start decorating more in there. So it's just such a fun one. Copper is a great one, and so is the gilded gold accents. So they're kind of blended together in one tip, but they're separated on purpose. And I think you should see where I'm going with that. <laughs> crocheted accents are such a must for this fall as well. I wish I knew how to crochet. It is on my list to do, to learn from my grandmother, because I feel like these are just arts that people are not keeping up and I really want to lend a hand to tradition and learn how to crochet. So that is on my list for this year. And I've grown up around everything crochet because my grandma crochets, but also I love it in Victorian decor. I loved seeing the crocheted little doilies over the chairs in the last home tour that we were in. And my grandma actually noticed all of the, the 
doilies that were on the back of the furniture in the Cohen Bray house and she she was surprised I didn't mention that and she said I grew up with my grandmother decorating with she would put those on all the backs of the chairs and the couches and it, it, it was a way to protect the furniture and it, it was for stylistic purposes as well so I'm adding that and I love the idea of adding these elements and so I have a little one here right now this one is from my grandma <laughs> just for the little example um, and yeah but if you don't know how to crochet either, you don't have a grandmother who knows how to, you can just get some of these thick, beautiful, cozy blankets that are just so fall and soft. And I saw a number of them at Home Goods. There's, there's, they're everywhere. And that is a good tip. It's just anything, look for anything crochet. Even crochet, I've been seeing crochet bedspreads. I've been seeing bed skirts as well. That's a good one. And just a whole bunch of different things. Anything can get be crocheted and I love it on little pillows. Just, it really just adds that cozy element to fall. Fall bedding and pillows, that is a must. We need to update our linens every season, I personally feel. And I loved my shabby chic cream and pink bedspread that I have had, my duvet cover that I've had out. I've, I've had that out since spring, so it's time. It's time, to, it's time to switch it up. And I like to go for the darker colors. I love this one I got. It's from Cuddle Down, and it's supposed to look like a Monet, but in the orange tones. They did have the Monet blue and greens traditional ones, but I, I thought that was unique. I hadn't seen it in those colors. Very fall. I love it. So that is the bedspread that we're gonna be putting on together. So in order to get that shabby, chic, fall, rustic look in your decor, definitely incorporating those floral elements wherever you can is essential, and in your bedding is a great one for that. <laughs> Cozy candles, that is a must. I love candles from the 1803 Candle Company. That is my favorite candle company. I actually haven't given, I'm not being paid by them or anything. I'm honestly sharing my opinion. They have the best fall scents. Everything from pumpkin cornbread to just cozy autumn baked goods, pumpkin cheese. I mean, there's so many different ones on there and you have to check it out. It's my favorite. They got me with their biscuits and honey candle and I discovered them in Savannah when I was visiting a couple years ago and I walked into the store who was, had their candle on and I had to have it. She said it was the, by far the most popular one and I became a lifetime fan. So that is such a great candle company. Had to give them a shout out because it's just so fall to me. I, I cannot have a fall season without their candles. And Bath and Body Works obviously has their great ones too, but I just feel like the scent is stronger on some of the more, um, just some other candles that I've found. But I always have to go to Bath and Body Works to get their, their quick little pumpkin candle wins because you have to and the hand sanitizer, I'm a sucker for it all. So the fall scents, <laughs> if you wanna kind of generalize this tip, fall scents, but I'm, I'm being specific with candles just because those are so fall cozy. I also love Anthropology's fall scents that they come out with and then I love Voluspa. They have this really good dark, forest one it's i still have mine from last year i got the huge version and i have not gone through it so anything that is cinnamony that is baked goods vintage books we cannot and these are amazing because they were my mom's books i actually she collected behind me she collected these nancy drew books when she was young and read all of them <laughs> and they're from 
yeah, when she was growing up and they're very fall looking. I love, and they will go well with Halloween. I love the colors. They're unlike the other colors in my room right now and they're just going to make it more fall. So I can't wait to style these and decorate with these also because they're sentimental. But I love vintage books, any kind of vintage books. Love vintage books. I want to show everyone how beautiful this display case is that I purchased at an estate sale over the weekend. We're using it to decorate. This is what I mean by gold accent furniture. It is mirrored in the back. So you're gonna see the, the bed back there that I'm in the process of changing the sheets. But look how cute it is. And it goes all the way down there. We're gonna have so much fun decorating this. And it did come with a key as well. And it, it has a uh, cord to light up to. And this is gonna be really fun to decorate. It is a French display case from France. And if you know my channel, you know I love everything French home decor. So let's go ahead and start getting this thing pretty for fall. We're gonna fall shabby mm -hmm. chic it. I actually purchased this from a historic house tour that I did in Savannah and it was by a local artist and they only made a few of these and unfortunately the business closed during COVID and I saw these on display with some pompous grass and all these other it's things that look just like this on fireplaces and it looked gorgeous so we're gonna do that here that's what it is inspired by.
what did you all think? I hope that you are going to find it so much easier to start decorating for fall and autumn which is gonna make it easier to jump into Halloween once we're there. For some reason, I flip-flop it. I like to do autumn and fall first before Halloween, and I know it's just to get that color palette down. So let me know what your thoughts are, what you are already doing to decorate, or how you're starting to ease out of summer decor and into fall and autumn. And I'm gonna be continuing to be putting out fall things. I'm also gonna be balancing it out with Halloween just because I know some people like like Halloween, don't like it, and some people are all about fall, and I'm about both, and I want to keep that balance. So if you see Halloween stuff coming through and it's not your cup of tea, just know that I vintage decor, Victorian style, anything, it's all a constant on this channel. So, and it's always going to be incorporated in my decorating. So make sure to subscribe if you've been loving so far. Hit that like button if you love the video. But until our next decorating adventure, you all take care, stay lovely, stay creative, and stay cozy. <laughs> Ciao.